The human brain is an incredible organ that deserves some serious TLC. Now, picture your brain as a high performance car. It needs the right fuel, maintenance, and care to keep running smoothly. Unfortunately, just like driving on pothole filled roads can damage your car, certain habits can take a toll on your brain. You and I probably do these things daily without realizing how damaging they are to our brains. Dehydration. Have you ever gone through the day only to realize you've barely had one bottle of water all day? I know I have. In the hustle and bustle of a stressful day, drinking water can sometimes become the last thing on your list of priorities. You might think it's not a big deal because the harmful effects of dehydration are not quite so visible right away, especially on the outside. So let me put this into perspective. Water aids a lot of things that happen in our bodies. Among them is the brain's ability to regulate cognitive performance and mood. Dehydration has been shown to dull our ability to concentrate and process information, and it negatively impacts short-term memory. Mood changes like anxiety, irritability, and fatigue have been shown to increase when the body loses about 1.5% of its normal water volume. This is according to a 2012 study conducted at the University of Connecticut. So the next time you feel angry, try drinking some water. Lack of sunlight. What is something that plants and humans have in common? Like plants, human beings require sunlight and water to thrive. Living in parts of the world with less sunlight can severely impact your mood. Have you ever felt rejuvenated after stepping out and soaking in all the sunlight? Exposure to natural light during the day helps regulate the internal body clock, making us more alert and synchronizing our sleep-wake cycles. Soaking in the sun can make us more alert and improve our cognitive functions. Sunlight is also vital to activating factors in the brain that help with memory formation. In fact, Conditions like seasonal affective disorder or SAD are commonly found in people who live in areas of the world where there is less sunlight. Research has shown that when people with SAD are exposed to sunlight, their symptoms get better and their mood improves. So for your brain to do everything it is best at doing, it needs sunlight. In other words, light is what illuminates the brain, quite literally. Next. Let's talk about another habit that's bad for your brain that's also used as a form of torture. Isolation. The human brain craves interaction and socialization. One of the ways the brain learns is by interacting and socializing with others. When we deprive the brain of this experience, it starts to malfunction in some serious ways. In fact, Depriving human beings of social interaction is a technique that's used in prisons to discipline inmates. Most of what we know about the harmful effects of isolation on the human mind comes from Harry Harlow's research with rhesus monkeys in the 1950s and interviews with inmates who spent time in solitary confinement. The biggest takeaway from Harlow's research was that the longer the monkeys were kept in isolation, the worse they became socially. Stuart Grassian, who is a board-certified psychiatrist and a former faculty member at Harvard University, discovered through his research and interviews that being alone for a long time can lead to a whole host of mental health issues. These included seeing things that aren't there, sudden intense fear, feeling overly suspicious, struggling to control impulses, being overly sensitive to sounds and sights, and having problems with thinking, concentration, and memory. That's not all. Other studies have also shown that lack of social engagement can cause cognitive decline, which can increase your risk of dementia and Alzheimer's. All of this just goes to show the detrimental effects of isolation on the brain. Sure, solitude isn't all bad. Sometimes we all need some time in isolation. What's important is not to overdo it. Too much isolation can become a form of self-inflicted torture. Next is something all of us are guilty of doing. I'll give you a clue. Places like Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts have become multi-billion dollar businesses 
thanks to this one obsession we all have. Any guesses? Excessive caffeine intake. Do you drink coffee or tea every day? There's no shame in admitting it. Most of us do. It's pretty normal for most of us to wake up in the morning and pour a fresh cup of coffee or tea. In fact, human beings have been drinking coffee for centuries. If it was so bad, we would have stopped, right? So why haven't we? Because caffeine, like other stimulants, can give us a temporary boost of alertness and energy. What happens when we feed our bodies things that make us feel good? We want it more and more. Before you know it, you need five cups of coffee a day to get anything done. Too much coffee, like too much of anything, can have some negative side effects. Things like insomnia, increased heart rate and high blood pressure, anxiety and nervousness, and headaches and migraines are just some of the ways the brain can be negatively impacted by caffeine. Of all the others on this list, this might be the one that most of you find hardest to stop. In my years of working as a counselor, I've seen that despite coffee's addictive nature, most of us see it as a completely normal, acceptable thing to do. So whenever I asked my clients if they want to quit caffeine, they look at me like I'm crazy. What do you think? So next, let's talk about another unsuspecting habit that can damage the brain. Here's the funny part. As you're watching this video, it's happening. Too much screen time. Our lives revolve around screens and technology. TV screens, phone screens, iPads, tablets, computer screens. There's no way to avoid them. Because our brains have adapted to like the visual and auditory stimulation of what we see and hear when we turn on the TV, scroll through social media, or surf the internet on our laptops. The problem is all this enjoyment is slowly hurting us. At this point, so much research has been done on this topic that proves just how bad this is for us. Things like sleep disruptions, short attention span, slower cognitive function, addiction, increased anxiety and stress are all associated with excessive screen time. So it's important to take a break from technology. If you want to learn more about how social media is negatively impacting us, we have a great video that you'll definitely like. Make sure to check it out. Put the phone away and turn off the TV. Disconnect for even a short time. Instead, do the opposite of everything on this list. Drink plenty of water. Take a walk and soak in the sun. Socialize with people one-on-one -on -one and limit your caffeine intake. Your brain will love you for it. If you enjoyed this video, Hit the like button before you go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hey, if you can think of someone who might like this video, share it with them. Don't forget to leave a comment below about any other bad habits for the brain. As always, don't forget to spread loving kindness to all beings around you and be the change you want to see in the world. Thank you for watching. See you next time.